Chances are you have a credit card in your wallet. On the front is usually something like your name and other information like your bank and the card carrier like Visa, MasterCard, etc. and a string of 16, 15, or 14 numerical digits. These digits vary from card to card and they're enough for merchants to transact business with your bank on your behalf. However, this string of numbers isn't random. In fact, there's a secret code in there that validates your card and keeps it safe all in the number structure. It's a low-tech mathematical algorithm called the Loon Formula. Invented by Hans Peter Loon in 1954, this mathematical tool actually dates back to before the existence of credit cards. Even with that fact, it's included in every credit, debit, and ATM card on Earth, and it also makes for a mind-blowing bar trick if people don't know it. Here's how you can see how it works. First, you'll want to write out your or any credit card number on a piece of paper. This is a random generated Visa card number, so it's not real. You, you can try, but it's not going to work. Now, once you have that card number written out, you'll double every other number, starting with the second number from the right, and then write them below that card number, like this. Once you've done that, you'll have a new string of numbers with every other number doubled starting from the right. After doing that, any two-digit numbers as a result of the doubling, you'll sum both of those individual numbers together to get a single number. So with our first two-digit number of 16, you'll sum 1 and 6 to get 7, making a one-digit number. Extrapolating that process out, here's our new string. Finally, add all the numbers you're left with in the string, doubled and original, like below, ignoring the original numbers that you doubled and now have a new number for. If your final sum is divisible by 10, then it's a valid card number. If the final sum isn't divisible by 10, then the card number isn't valid or you did something wrong. In the case of our sample number, it's just not in use, but it's still a valid number. This algorithm is used to calculate every single card number on Earth. Visa, MasterCard, Discover, they all have 16 digits, and American Express has 15, and then Diners Club cards have 14. Each different card issuer will have different subcategories of what numbers mean in their string, like issuer ID, account number, etc., but they all have to line up with the Loon algorithm. Back to the Loon algorithm itself, the last number in your credit card is referred to as a check digit. As the computer runs the algorithm, it will complete its sum without the last number. Using our sample number as an example, we've replaced the final digit of 9 with an x variable. By then completing the sum, we're left with a final number of 81 plus x. Now the computer can look back at the original number, see that the last digit is, in fact, 9, and when added to the sum, it creates a number divisible by 10. This Divisibility by 10 we see in the Loon algorithm also lends to its alternative name of Modulus 10, or Mod 10. The algorithm was originally used to detect data entry errors and to verify number strings, not as a defense against fraud. However, today it functions as a great first flag for fraud detection software on credit card issuers' internal systems. Chances are if the Loon algorithm doesn't check out, there might be something else at play as well. There are some cases that the Loon algorithm can't catch, so it's not a solve-all for checking credit card numbers, but it is the primary rule that card numbers have to abide by. This algorithm isn't just used for credit cards either. It's also used in the IMEI cards in cell phones and commonly in insurance identifier numbers. Ethernet networking also uses a similar check digit system to ensure data arrives just like it was sent and didn't get garbled up along the way. Algorithms using Loon methodology are seen all across our modern digital infrastructure. And now you can blow some people's minds at the bar while also covertly getting their credit card numbers. Thanks for watching.